Hey guys. As you guys probably know by now, I hate being inside. There's so many places to go and thought I'd just take you guys along and go on a little adventure somewhere. So here we are. I'm in Cathedral Grove Provincial Park on Vancouver Island, like one of the oldest growth forests in the Pacific Northwest. We're gonna go and find the 800 year old tree. My past topic is the traditional education system and how it's, it's just not, it's not performing the way it should be and it's not educating people the way it should be. And it's, I've talked a lot on university and college and how it's ultimately failing people, especially kids, the younger generation, you know, coming out of high school and they're not being set up on the right path, you know? I'm just upset seeing people set up to fail because ultimately that's what's happening. But it starts in high school. High school itself is not setting up, setting kids up to succeed. High school is literally failing kids from the start and setting them up and pre-framing them the wrong way. They're coming out of high school and they think college and university is like the only answer. High school is not, it's not preparing kids, it's not preparing the younger generation for the future. It's teaching, high school alone is teaching mindsets and strategies of you know, stuff that worked before, and it's not setting people up to succeed in this day and age. They're teaching old school mindsets and old school skills. They're setting people up to conform to society, basically. High school and setting kids up to fail from the beginning, you know, before we even get into college and university and start paying for it, like free education, public education, traditional education system is not working. It's not working, okay? I don't know. If you talk to anybody and they tell you that it is working, they're just lying to themselves and they're trying to justify it because it's not, okay? I lost it in high school. I could not handle it. I was ready to get out. I realized everything I was being t taught was not pertaining to anything in life, you know? All the life skills I've learned were through other things that I did. The skill sets I've acquired, all of the skill sets I've acquired, none of it has been through high school. <laughs> None of it. None of it. And I got to high school and I realized how much of a joke it was. And I was like, you know, I'm done here. And at the time, you know, I didn't see any other way because I was just like everybody else. Blinders on, going for, you know, graduation, grade 12 graduation, get out of there. And then what? Well, then you go into college and university, you pick something you like. And that's the deal. That's how it works. That's what society teaches us. So it was hard because I didn't see any other way, but I knew something was wrong. I knew I wasn't on the right path. I knew that there were a lot of things that weren't working. I could see it around me. But, you know, like I said, I didn't know any other way at the time, just like a lot of people, right? We're just taught what society's taught us, what our parents have taught us, what our teachers teach us. But all of them, all those people that we look up to, they've been taught the same stuff from their parents and their mentors, stuff that worked 50, 100 years ago, but it doesn't work anymore. The world has changed so fast. And the internet alone has changed the world so much. And there's so many opportunities out there for you to create a lifestyle that you want and a lifestyle that you deserve and a lifestyle that you dream of that is possible, that hasn't been possible in the past. But the education system, high school, for starters, and then college and university, it's not setting people up, kids and the younger generation especially, it's not setting them up to succeed ultimately in life. People are, they're just so closed-minded and it's not necessarily any fault of their own because it's how they've been conditioned. But at the same time, like, kids gotta wake up and realize that there are other ways, there are other opportunities to you know, create a lifestyle and a living and whatever. And you don't have to just conform to the nine to five like like we've been taught, you know, generations before. I just want to drill home the point that if you're, you know, if you're the younger generation, if you're still in high school, if you're coming out of high school, if you're already out of high school and you're contemplating college or university, or even if you're already enrolled in college or university, and you realize and feel that there's something wrong, if you're not, if you don't feel like you're on the right path, you know, I just want you to know that 
you know, there are so many other opportunities out there and that's not your only answer. A lot of people going into um, college and university, they're, they're told to by their parents that have been conditioned in the past to go, right? It doesn't have to be that way, right? I, I didn't think there was any other way either at the beginning. And then, you know, somehow you just feel like there's something wrong and things just come to light. Things come into your life and you realize that, you know, wow, like there are other opportunities out there. I don't have to just go um, to college or university and just, you know, get a degree, say you're good in one thing, one thing only, one skill. Now you're in debt. Now you're, you know, you're not even guaranteed a job out of there. And, uh, you know, you're, it's just a short, short-term mindset. You're not thinking long-term. Now, when was the last time that anything in high school um, taught you how to set goals or the importance of having a vision and working towards something and teaching you stuff like you become what you think about? They don't teach you the power of the mindset. They just teach you academics and this is how you're supposed to learn and, you know, tests and all of that. And for starters, like, they, they should be teaching you how to learn, not just to learn something, Right? They should be teaching you how to learn. That's step one. Not everybody learns the same way. Yet, they're putting everybody in the classroom and grading people all the same way. Not everyone learns the same way, right? Not every... People learn hands-on. People learn... Some people learn on paper. Some people learn by doing things. And some people learn by doing things over and over and over again. And then they finally get it. But you can't just group everybody and every kid and every young adult, say, in college or university level, you can't just group everyone into the same pool because not everybody learns the same way. They just group everyone into the same pool and then if you don't do that well or you learn differently, then you're put in a special class or something and you're classified as, like, you know, extra, if you know what I mean. Just everybody learns differently and it's not fair. It's not right. You'd think in this day and age that... People would wake up and realize that there are other alternatives to learning, like, say, Montessori schools or Baldorf schools and different kinds of hands-on education, and yeah. However, those are considered private schools, and they cost money, <laughs> and a lot of families can't, you know, afford that kind of education. So the public school, that's where everybody goes, and the public school is not, just not equipped it's not even remotely equipped to teach you the life skills that you need to know. If you really want to learn life skills and you really want to learn stuff that's actually going to get you somewhere in life, don't look to education, traditional education, because it's not going to get you there. Hopefully some people you know, can take this message and realize that, yeah, it is wrong. And yeah, maybe the system doesn't work anymore. And yeah, maybe... Maybe things need to change. Maybe I need to take action and change something in my life and, you know, educate myself with all the information that's out there rather than just, you know, enrolling myself in some kind of course and then expecting them to teach me because it's not going to happen. Like, just, guys, just know, recap on this, don't just accept what is, okay? If, if you've been conditioned a certain way like most people and you've just gone to school or whatever just because that's what you're supposed to do in society it doesn't mean it's right online courses and mentors and there's so much information out there like you can educate yourself on so many different things and you don't even have to go to school for it if you're like unsure about what you want to do and you know that there's something wrong and it just doesn't feel right it, it feels like you haven't been conditioned the right way and that you know, you look around and you just see everybody is average and getting by and, you know, they're all not ultimately fulfilled. It's because they haven't been taught, you know, all of this. They've just been conditioned and accepted what is and they've been conditioned from high school and college and university and their parents and all of this and not necessarily all of that information is accurate, Right? You have to take action, guys. You have to just make a decision and decide that 
this is what I want to do. And I'm not going to let, you know, college or university or traditional education or society dictate what I should or shouldn't do. I'm just going to do my own thing. You know, that's how it should be. You don't have to do what society says. You don't have to do what high school teaches you. You don't have to do these things. You can go your own path. 